So here we're going to talk about the Sub-Zero uh, French door bottom freezer from their BI series. Uh, I think this is technically a BI 36 UFD ID. And that extra ID is for the internal dispenser here. Um, and of course you're seeing it with uh, with custom fronts and then we've uh, we've done what they call their inset installation where the side panels were brought out a little further so that you'd have this extra half inch of clearance um i'm sorry in addition to having this extra half inch of clearance uh we can kind of get it a flush look um so that was achieved by widening the opening and making the opening deeper um, in order to accommodate those pockets and that is in their um, is in their specifications. Most people are going to purchase it in stainless steel. Uh, in stainless, it's going to look very similar to the 42 inch version. That's what we're looking at here. Uh, very pretty. And of course, you can kind of do the same thing. You can actually bring the uh, side panels of your cabinets out a little bit, and then leave a little bit of a of a space there for the doors to clean uh, to clear those side panels to create a, um, a little bit more of a flush look. Now, if you don't do that, you know, if it's paneled, you're gonna see that. So a lot of your advertising, a lot of your pictures, you're gonna see the front of a Sub-Zero and it looks relatively clean and integrated. And then people, when they get it installed, they get disappointed because they find out like, oh wait, that sticks out a couple of inches. Uh, in stainless, it's going to look like that. So in stainless, it really doesn't look that bad. I think when you're when you're paneling the unit and the doors are sticking out like that, um, it's a it's a little less attractive. And I feel like going that extra step for the for what they call the inset installation uh, makes a lot more sense. Um, inside of the so this is a traditional top compressor design. Uh, Sub Zero does make a bottom compressor uh, series in uh, in what they call their IT and IC. Um, uh, refrigeration series uh, those will have bottom compressors but they're but they're traditional built-ins will always have a, a, a top compressor compartment with dual compressors above um, that compartment is hinged so that you can go in and have access for cleaning um, the condenser coil there uh, which you should do every three to six months according to the use and care manual so that you don't void your warranty uh, there is your uh, your heavy-duty uh, water filter uh, on the, on the right-hand side there. And then it looks like they're now shipping these with some sort of uh, Wi-Fi dongle. So you have Wi-Fi connectivity either for service or for um, Sub-Zero's app, at home app. Inside, on the 42-inch version, you'll have uh, split shelves, like you see here, with uh, three large uh, bins. Freezer is going to be fairly similar to the 36 inch version, just stretched a little bit. So let's look over at the 36. The main difference in the 36 is that you're going to have two uh, storage bins or crispers, and then you're going to have uh, long shelves. Now, the reason they do this is that, um, you know, when you do split the shelves, you do lose a little bit of usable space by having those extra arm brackets coming down in the middle. Um, so because this is a smaller refrigerator, they're trying to make more efficient use of that space. Um, your controls are up here. Uh, they're glass touch sensor controls. You've got a function for the, um, for the air scrubber and this, the, the pure air system, which is this guy here. There's your, your filter. Um, it will filter out a whole bunch of uh, various you know, bacteria and, and things that will grow inside your refrigerator. Uh, but it, its main function is it will actually um, uh, scrub out ethylene gases. So, you know, if you put a head of lettuce and an apple in one of those bins side by side, the apple is going to, uh, it's going to give off enough ethylene gas that it will, it will kill the lettuce overnight. Um, so what this will do is if you've got a lot of different produce, you can, you can select that. And I forget how long that runs. I want to say it was like 24 or 48 hours or something. It will, it will scrub out the air uh, inside the refrigerator and get rid of those ethylene gases, allowing those, those, uh, sense, those ethylene sensitive produce uh, to live a good bit longer. I'm sorry, I'm wearing a mask and my breathing is, uh, is uh, difficult. So 
There's your doors. Just like all French door refrigerators, you're gonna lose some, some door shelf space uh, because of the smaller doors and the extra gaskets and then this little flap that creates your, your center, your center uh, seal for the, for the two doors. So uh, for, I don't know, like five, $600 less, there's a single door variation available in the 30 and 36 inch units. Um, and I, I prefer that unit, A, because it's a little less expensive, B, uh, because you get a lot more door storage by not doing the French doors. Um, but, you know, if you're in a situation like this where you've got a narrow walkway, I mean, sometimes you, you have to do a French door. Um, I feel like most people purchase a French door just because they think it looks cool. Um, I do feel a little bit claustrophobic. Uh, these, you can't see, but these uh, doors come pretty close to my shoulders. Um, so when you're standing here, you're kind of enclosed. Now, on the uh, products like a Thermador, where you've got that big elbowed hinge where the doors are actually brought away from the refrigerator, um, you don't get that claustrophobic feeling. But I feel like here it's just a little bit tight. And my preference um, for most of my clients is for them to get the single door if possible. Uh, now, on the 42-inch, it's a much bigger opening. Uh, you have a lot more real estate. Um, there again, there's your pure air system. Uh, freezer, by the way, in both these units is identical. It's just the little dividers are spaced out differently for the larger freezer drawer assembly. Um, for shorter people, you know, this is a, these are still very popular. So when you go bottom compressor, you're basically lifting everything up by about 10 to 12 inches maybe more. Um, and that's great because the freezer baskets in that scenario aren't quite as low. You don't have to bend over quite as much when they're lifted up. However, it puts the top shelf in the refrigerator at a point where it's very difficult to reach. So somebody like my mom or my daughter, they're only, you know, four foot 11 or five foot two. Um, they'd have a difficult time reaching the top shelf in some of those bottom compressor units. So let's go over here and look at one of the uh, fully integrated sub zeros. So here, no compressor up top. The compressor is down behind that lower drawer assembly. Um, and this is nice. I mean, I don't have to bend over very far to get to the ice and get to that storage. Uh, it's very accessible. But um, I'm about 5'9", so this isn't too terribly difficult, but it's a little bit of a stretch for me to get to the back of that upper shelf. Um, and of course, for shorter people, it would be even worse. So... Anyhow, although I do love this uh, this refrigerator quite a bit. So this is their uh, IT36C uh, for combination, and you could add an ID in there for internal dispenser. Uh, these only come panel ready, and then you actually, uh, you would purchase stainless steel door fronts in order to make this stainless. Uh, but a very pretty unit. You'll notice that the drawers line up with the, um, with the height of your cabinet. So your cabinets are all 34 and a half inches. That line on the drawer, I believe, is right at 34 and a half. So that line is consistent in, uh, in your kitchen design. And then here, because of the articulated hinge, you don't have to, um, you don't have to leave that big half inch gap in between uh, the panels and the side panels or the, the front panels and the side panels. Uh, just a traditional, like standard one eighth or three millimeter gap uh, to create that fully integrated look that we all love so much. So that's uh, Sub-Zero Bottom Freezers. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.